Hey guys, this is Basil. In this video, we'll be showing you a basic walkthrough of the playback screen on your Pro HD Wi Fi camera. Before we begin, you'll want to make sure you've used the IP config tool to log into your camera using desktop access. Once you've logged in, you will see the live view screen display automatically. At the top of the screen next to Live and PTZ, click on Playback. The Playback window should appear with basic playback control buttons in the bottom left of the screen with a sort of timeline at the bottom. In the top right corner, the file type is basically either Digital Audio Video or JPG for photos. The data source selection box defaults to SD card. At this point in our video series, you should already have set up your camera to record video and snapshots to your SD card. If you haven't already done this step, please watch our video on how to set up your camera's storage destination to record to your SD card. Under Data Source, SD Card, and the Calendar, there is a File List button. When you click that, a list will pull up with your previous recordings on the SD card. They're sorted by their timestamp in ascending order. To play one of the videos, go ahead and double click on one of the timestamps and it will automatically start playing your video. The file type shows up as a yellow box in this example because the recording was a motion detection based recording. At the bottom there is a color chart displaying what each color means. Based on your recording setup, the colors may be different for the type of videos that were recorded. However, the majority of the videos will most likely be one color, like all yellow for motion detection or all green for general recording if you haven't specified a motion detection area. Please watch our motion detection setup video on how to set up your motion detection if you haven't already seen it. The file type could also be all red if you've set up your camera to trigger an alarm. You would see that video for when the alarm was set off. The control buttons play and stop are self-explanatory. The button to the right of stop is the next frame button, which when clicked repeatedly will let you slowly step into the next video frame. This can be especially important when needing to very slowly advance the video to the next frame once it's stopped. The slow motion button has a few different speeds you can select from by clicking the button more than once. The same thing is true for the fast forward button next to it, which will allow you to choose how fast you want to fast forward the video. At the top right of the screen, there is a selection zoom tool a camera snapshot tool, and help. To zoom into a section on the screen, you can use the Selection Zoom tool to select an area on the screen. It functions almost like a crop tool in other programs. At the bottom there is a Back button to go back, and below that there is a Start Time tool and a Save button. Below the timeline on the right, you can choose the length of time you want displayed within the timeline. For example, if you're viewing an overnight surveillance recording lasting up to 24 hours, then the default 24-hour selection should be used. However, if you only have a short recording anywhere from 30 minutes to 2 hours, there are buttons to help get a better fit on the screen to help you gauge the duration of the video and select certain points in time to skip to faster by clicking directly on the timeline. We hope this walkthrough video of the playback screen has helped you become a little more familiar navigating through and playing back your recorded videos. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more how-to videos from Amcrest Technologies.